you are seeing is this muscle because it's above to this spine so this will be supra spinatus so supra scapular now you know it uh, descends down from you know this uh, uh, upper trunk and it reaches laterally along the upper part of the scapula and then at the supra scapular notch you know this is the you know upper border it is the supra spinatus here deep inside will be the upper border of the scapula there will be a ligament supra scapular ligament binding the notch so it converts into a foramen so n4 now n4 niche any below the ligament so supra scapular now passes below the supra scapular ligament and supra scapular artery passes above to the ligament so then that now supra scapular now will supply this supra spinatus now look here about this muscle this muscle you are seeing is arising you know this was the spine this was being twisted like this is an acromion and here it is clavicle being attached so this muscle is supra spinatus supra spinatus takes origin from the supra spinatus fossa from the medial to third of the supra spinatus fossa and then it uh, passes below to this you know osseo fibrous arc that is coraco acromial arc so it passes below to that arc and it is tendon its uh, insertion and it is thinned out tendon which inserts onto the upper most or anterior most impression on the greater tubercle of humerus right and that is supraspinatus and it is a part of rotator cuff muscles so what about the nerve supply i just told you the nerve supply will be suprascapular nerve and the action of this muscle will be because it's running horizontally right it is running from suprascapular fossa and reaching you know just above to this greater to work of humerus below to this coracoacromial arc so there it gets inserted what will be the action of suprascapinatus lateral rotation it is lateral rotation the initiator of abduction it initiates abduction for the initial 15 degrees initial 15 degrees ka abduction jo karega that's first gear in abduction jo lagayega that is supraspinatus 